Hi everyone, welcome to video number 49 of Remembering and Sharing. So normally every day I have a to-do list that's so long that it doesn't even fit on one page and I'm sure you're exactly the same. So what I aim to do for myself every week is to have one day that's a no plan day. To give myself a break, to give my mind a break um, and allow myself to wander mentally and physically and just enjoy the day, enjoy my surroundings. Basically a way to recharge myself. So I schedule my no plan day in for a day of the week where I don't already have meetings or anything important to do because otherwise that would ruin the whole point of a no plan day. Um, so for me, because I don't work the traditional um, Monday to Friday full time, I have more flexibility in scheduling in my no plan day. Um, but I do understand that if you have a full time job and you have a family with kids, it's probably almost impossible to schedule in a no plan day every single week. But maybe you could just um, modify it a bit. So maybe a no plan day once a month or maybe a no plan day um, on the weekend, but do it with your whole family. So your whole family has a no plan day. That could be pretty fun because then you have the whole family on the no plan day and go, oh, I want to go here, I want to go here, let's go here. Um, and then you'll um, have a really fun no plan day. Um, so yeah, basically, I just encourage you to try it at least once. Just give it a go. Have a no plan day. Um, the first time I did it, I felt so liberated um, to not have a to-do list um, and a little bit lost as well. <laughs> um, it was great. I felt amazing and so carefree and happy. And the next day, I was ready to get back into it. So have a go. Let me know how you go and what you get up to on your no plan day. Thank you for tuning in to Remembering and Sharing and I'll see you tomorrow.